Hi, I'm Mark Cage and I'm running for Sheriff of Eddy County. I would appreciate your vote November 8th to continue to serve you, the great citizens of Eddy County. Eddy County is a great place to live and I want to help keep it that way. Well, the first thing we need to discuss, and it's on the, the forefront, and it's probably the most, I get the most questions about it, I get the most concern about it from, from citizens, is uh, drug enforcement, illegal narcotics, illegal substances uh, within Eddy County, and the effects of illegal drugs and drug use on the citizens and on, the, the, on Eddy County in general. And the effect is enormous and devastating. And we fight a constant battle to keep, well, I, I'd love to say we're ahead of the game. I, I would love to say to keep ahead of the game, but we're not, we're behind. And we will always be behind. We're behind throughout the nation on drug enforcement because it is so prevalent and it is such a huge issue. We are very fortunate here in Eddy County. We have the top performing drug enforcement uh, task force in the state. And that, that's huge for us because I sit on several boards. I, I chair the Pecos Valley Drug Task Force Board, Executive Board, which is, which is our task force here in Eddy County. Um, and I, I provide the leadership there to keep us going in the direction we need to go. On top of that, we are part of what's called Region 6 uh, Drug Task Force. And Region 6 is comprised of Lincoln County, Eddy County, Lee County, Otero County, and uh, Chavez County. I, I also chair that board where I'm able to help draw the resources in and also affect the surrounding counties that affect us here in Eddy County. Moving up from that is, is the Haida Board, which is the High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area. It's a federal mandate that comes, down, comes out of Washington, and it's, it's a funding source. And where I'm always a little leery of any kind of uh, federal funding because of sometimes the, the, the strings that are attached to it, Haida is very necessary and very beneficial to Eddy County. It, in the, and, and I just, I was just finished my term as uh, chairman of the executive board for Haida, for New Mexico Haida. And during my tenure there, I was able to bring in over $2 million into Eddy County, into Region 6 Drug Task Force to combat illegal and drugs and the use of illegal drugs and narcotics. Without that funding, this the burden would be put back onto Eddy County and the, and the taxpayers in Eddy County. And it's crucial that we keep that funding going because th this stuff, it doesn't, we're not able to enforce this without money. We have to pay overtime for our agents to be out there working. We have to pay the snitches who give us the, the, the information to go and write search warrants and to, to, to take these drugs off the street. We have to have the money to purchase the equipment that we use for surveillance and for, for gathering the, the evidence that we need to successfully prosecute these cases. Um, I'm very proud of what I have done and what we have done uh, in the arena of drug enforcement. I, it, it came to, part of, a, a huge part came to fruition at the last meeting that we had with Haida, where I was able to leverage $180,000 for the 9th Judicial District Attorney, uh, Diana Luce. What that meant was she was able to hire another attorney, another dr specifically for handling drug cases, and an assistant for that attorney. Now, what does that mean for Eddy County? Well, Dist District Attorney Luce was grateful enough that, that I had done that, that she has assigned that attorney specifically to Eddy County. So we have our own drug attorney, drug district attorney here in Eddy County to prosecute Eddy County's cases. So that, that, that's massive. I mean, we, to, to get that kind of specialized attention, it just, it, it makes our lives easier in the drug enforcement world and it makes your lives as a citizen better because 
you're getting that specialized attention to the cases that directly affect you. So we have to continue. Now, everybody sits and says, oh, the war on drugs is lost. I, I don't like to call it a war on drugs. It, it's not a war on drugs. It is a war on an ugly way of life that has in some way or another touched all of our lives. We have to continue to fight the effects of illegal narcotics and, and the, the use of illegal narcotics. It, it, it's touched my life with one of my children and fortunately we've recovered from it and everything's fine now, but I've lived it, I know it. I understand what people go through when they have a, a family member who is a drug addict. And I'm very empathetic to that and I, I want to help affect that. I want to help make it better. And I tell you what, you, it's not gonna be successful unless we have people who are in the, the, the leadership positions who have a keen knowledge of this. I've worked, I've worked narcotics. I've, I've run a drug task force. I've worked exclusively, I was assigned to the DEA where we worked all over New Mexico and into Texas, and that was my job. I, that's where I learned, that's where I cut my teeth as a narcotics agent. And I understand how it works. I understand what it takes to be successful. And if you don't understand that, you're, it, it, it's very difficult to supervise something like that and to manage a task force when you don't understand how it works. There are certain things that happen in drug enforcement cases and there's certain things you have to understand that are completely different from a patrol issue or, or anything else. It's just, it's a different world and it's a different environment that you work in. So you, you have to be prepared for that. And I am, I, and I've been doing it for the last four years here in Eddy County, working on managing the drug task force, bringing more money in, bringing more resources, networking. Um, I, can, I can pick up my cell phone right now and I have the resources, I have the networking with ATF, with FBI, with DEA. If I need something for my people and I need something for Eddy County, I'm very confident that I can make those phone calls and make that happen. And uh, that takes work. It takes a lot of work.